It really started at the first meeting with a team and setting up what we wanted to do for the year and then getting the leadership in place so that the captains knew what was expected of them and the upperclassmen as a whole, the juniors and seniors, knew how to guide the rest of the team so that we could achieve the success. Because you can't just say you're going to be Ivy League champs at the end of the season and have that be your goal and not go through the process from the beginning. It was a good solid meet against Cornell and Dartmouth. We had a lot of people sim some different events had a good meet and set ourselves up for a great um, invitational down at Georgia, which ended up being honestly one of the fastest invitationals, I think the fastest invitational in the country, and probably the fastest depth in terms of the full meet aside from NCAAs. So it was a challenging meet. We had a great training trip down in Puerto Rico. We worked them hard, we really did, and we came back and we were, you know, okay against Brown. Um, we won the meet, but we didn't see anything fabulous there. And we got on a plane the next weekend and went out to swim Northwestern in Iowa. It was still a great experience, you know, to be up there against two Big Ten teams. And again, no one panicked. Everyone stayed calm and everyone just took one event at a time, never thinking that the meet was actually ever over until the last event. And I think that those, that experience between the Northwestern Iowa meet competing in the Big Ten, going down to the Invitational in Georgia, having a really close dual meet with Columbia, and then having a very solid training trip where they weren't afraid to put in the work, uh, set us up for H5P. I think that they swam so well at H5P that they were um, a little nervous, and we had a shaky first day at the Ivy Championships. But again, the leadership on this team has been amazing all year, and they didn't let us down You know that meet either. They knew how far they had gotten and how they close they were to a victory. So we had a meeting in the locker room, and the seniors stepped up and said, we need to do this, we need to do this now, and we need to come out fighting on Friday morning. And they did. I think we got 12 people back in finals, and we pulled ourselves ahead to the point where um, we were in a good position to clinch the meet the next morning if we did it. And that's exactly what we did. So it was a great season overall, but it started in September, and hopefully we can start this next September again, or right now, for, uh, to try to win in 2013 as well. We have a very strong senior class, and not just in the pool, but personality-wise as well. They're, um, they're just a great group of women, women. So we have you know, Christy Korsberg and Victoria Pratt as our captains from this past year, but you really, the strength of the team was all of their class. Like their class got behind them. The junior class got behind them. And it, it was a comfortable enough environment that sophomores could speak up, freshmen could speak up. It wasn't a, you know, we're the seniors and you have to do as we say environment. It's we are empowering everyone to step up. How they train practices and they push each other every day. We may have that one front person a little bit, but we have a lot of people right behind them. And that's how you win championships.